around town, you could just say Boathouse and everybody has a story. From the Romantics to the Ramones. Still Pulse. The Smithereens. I mean, that's where you went to see the cool shows with the Boathouse. Violent Femmes. Social distortions, suicidal tendencies. Uh, the Indigo Girls. Collective Soul. Being an employee, being a performer, and being a guest, man. I had the best time of my life at the Boathouse. Harbor Fest is the largest, longest running free maritime festival in the nation. Something new that we did this year was the Boathouse promotion. We celebrated what would have been the 40th anniversary of the Boathouse venue here in Norfolk. It is so awesome to play on the historic Boathouse stage. You know, it's named after the historic Boathouse venue. We got the awesome Boathouse Museum out here. It wasn't a building that was ever intended to have music in it. And, uh, and I think that was all part of the charm of it. It was an old warehouse. It wasn't in the best shape, but the mystique of seeing a show there and seeing different bands there was a great part of my growing up in this area. It was right on the edge of the water and it looked like it was about the four legs of the water. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it was kind of dingy to be quite honest about it. But it was like yeah. this mystic place that just came alive. It was really dark. The stage was closer to me and you guys. The performers would be sweating on you. Wow, we'd always get as close as we could to the stage, usually to the left, right next to the gigantic speakers, and then couldn't hear anything for a couple days afterwards. There's no windows, no outdoor light coming in at all. I think the thrill of not knowing if the place is going to collapse right beneath your feet. The parking lot was always crowded. It was always a good time. And there was a main dancing area where you could go, and then they had a side off to the side, which was the beer garden. You could tell what kind of show it was going to be by depending on where the where the uh, fence was. It was a small, kind of intimate environment where you could really connect to your audience. The stage was low, the ceiling was low. It's an experience that that most people won't get at a concert nowadays. You had artists who played there, they got their start there, and then become legends. It was really cool that I had a time period in my life where I could make money doing stuff, seeing so many great acts and seeing them from behind. When we would do the I Drive a Yugo song, I get to this point in the lyrics where I, I, I ain't got no quarter, I ain't got no quarter. Everybody would throw quarters at the stage. I miss going there so much that I've, I've, the last few years I had a dream where I was going back there and seeing it all over again. The soul of the city's culture is in those venues, like the Boathouse. People don't understand how important venues are to the music scene. You know, you need to have a, a home. But I mean, I just took a tour through the Hall of Memories over there, and it's just amazing that people are keeping the memories alive, and there's people devoted putting time to the website, and it just goes to show how much it means to people, how, how much it means to have that collective memory. It was the boat houses of the world that made that music able to become popular. I have a, a warm spot in my heart for the boat house, and this kind of became a home venue for us. Good night, everybody. Thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.